Hello, my name is Morgan Sanders, but I'm more known amongst my peers as Jay Sanders. I'm applying for a visual arts program at GHP this summer. My art mostly consists of acrylic, watercolor, pen, color pencil, and graphite works. My biggest inspiration for my art comes from Vincent Van Gogh with his unique color palette and painting style with layering brush strokes. I feel an immense honor being nominated by GHP and my school. I cannot thank you enough for this opportunity. Piece one is a three by four acrylic painting made in 2023. The art was a subtle argumentative piece to go against one of my professor's views at the time. The professor believed art was only made for money, and if you did art, you only did it for others' approval and praise. I wanted to argue in this mandated piece that art can be an enjoyment and doesn't have to be profitable, but can simply exist. In the piece, you see a woman standing beside a counter and listening to music, maybe R&B or rap or jazz or blues, as that's what I was listening to when making this piece and what inspired the look and overall feel of it and even the radio in the background, which is a 1920s radio. Music is a form of art, and in this piece, she's simply enjoying it. She isn't doing anything to profit off of it, or doing anything to the music to gain praise, but simply enjoying it. Art doesn't have to have a profit or gain to be made. It can be made for the artist's self and the artist wants and the artist needs. It doesn't have to have money or have people f flock over it to be art and be made. Art simply exists and can be enjoyed without having t to make money or get praise from it. Piece 2 is a one by one piece. It uses both tempera and acrylic and was made in 2022. The artwork, the artwork was supposed to be about our religious beliefs, or lack of. I, however, took the project a different way. As a trans man raised in the South, I was raised around religion. It surrounded me daily. My experience with religion was rough and made me hate religion on itself. So the project had a lot of hatred towards it. This project alone brought a lot of the religious trauma up and presented itself in my work. In my painting, I used a ton of symbolism. One example being the gold and silver paint brush strokes. Gold is seen as the first place color, while silver is always seen as second. So, I used silver to create a ring around my head, like a halo. And that represents how I felt. Instead of having a gold halo and being close, I was silver. I was second. The silver ring around my head represents the holiness I always believed I was second to receive. Always seeing it second hand, but never first. Other examples of symbolism I used was the background where I used red and blue to represent my anger yet despair and my feelings towards it. Last but not least, Piece Free. Piece Free is a 3x4 acrylic, oil pastel, and graphite piece. The art is about my expression of myself, how I characterize and portray myself in my art as opposed to how I actually am in real life. The character I use to represent myself oftentimes in my artwork is bold, more masculine, and has sharper features. He is who I like to be. However, he exists only in my writing and on paper. He's an extension of myself, but not really here. So in my artwork for this project, I made a side-by-side -side piece to compare how I see myself in my art than to who I am in real life. Also in to, in, implementing my style to draw a more, more realistic me. Painting myself in bold colors and more realistic features to how I look at the time then my character, which I use more dramatic and outlandish looks. Drawing myself in color and him in pen 
to show which one has life and which one is only to exist on paper. A compare and contrast, yet showing they're still a part of who I am. Even if one's only expression, he's still a part of me.